Alright, so I wanted to show off some of my uh, radioactive items here. Um, and I'm going to be using this RAD 100 Geiger counter. It's pretty good. It checks alpha and text beta and gamma. So, first off is we're going to test this uranium glass here. This is from an antique store, and it's pretty common. You can find it on eBay, so, um, all sorts of things like that. And you'll see, once I turn the, the audios on, it does not give off a lot of counts like you would expect. It is giving off some, but not a lot. And the next item we have here is this tritium watch. So on the hands and some of the numbers, there's little uh, vials of tritium, which is a isotope of hydrogen that's radioactive. Uh, it's strongly a beta emitter. So if you'll see, if I hold the Geiger counter up to it, it's not picking up anything because the beta is not passing through the watch space. So next, this is some Amara CMG41. If I can get the camera focus uh, from a smoke detector. Now this, the Geiger counter picks up a lot, so we're gonna actually gonna place it down and like that. It's it's going up. So that 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 detects uh, this this is detecting mainly alpha from this americium, and you can see that it does not really like that. So I'll show this next. This is, these are some uh, lantern mantles, um, and they use used to primarily be made with thorium dioxide, and you can see I can even detect it from outside of the package. Um. And if I take one out here, there's two in the, there's two in here, and these are what they look like. And the thorium is made uh, so that they will they will glow brighter. And you can see if I put the Geiger counter up to it, it is giving off some counts. So here I have a radium watch. So the hands and these little dots on the outside of the numbers are painted with radium paint mixed with a phosphor so that um, it will glow and I found this also in an antique shop and this does give off more counts than the uh, than the lantern mandals which is surprising and then last but not least I have this check source I'm gonna place the camera down for a second so I can open it up So this check source is polonium-210. Um, it has about 0.1 microcuries and its half-life is 138.38 days. It's from Spectrum Technologies. So it's an alpha emitter, so it, it, it's open on the back and you can see the little speck there of polonium. So we're going to put it up against the Geiger counter and this should go not as much as the Amorosium, but still pretty crazy. I'll do it so that you guys can see the display. I'm not hitting the window. There's a window on this, so it's getting blocked by this. And yeah, that's basically it. So these are just some radioactive items that I have, and um, maybe you have too around the house. There's plenty more that I didn't show here that that are out there, but hope you guys like this video, and uh, I'll see you later.